So now we're in the San Salvador swap meet. No, you're fine. San Salvador swap meet. They got all kind of regular clothes and shoes. They even had some of the bad bunnies. The, the baby blue bad bunnies, but they were trying to charge Bay like $90 for them. I was like, if we're gonna do those, she gotta come down to like 60 or even 70. What's up everybody? Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Walking down in Centro of, of, of El Salvador. So we're gonna be going to watch some, going, going to go look at some cathedrals. There's two cathedrals that are in El Centro area that we're gonna go check out one of them. And another one is a very popular one because it's like really, really beautiful. It's really, really pretty on the inside too. It has all the colors, like they have some colored glass. It's really big out here in El Salvador. Um, Carlos's wife, Claire's sister, wanted to come and check it out because we didn't get a chance to come see it last time. So it'll be cool for us to see this cathedral as well as some of the other ones that they have down here right now. This Is that where the president lives over there? Where? Right there. No. I think they tried to ask, but that has something to do with like the presidency, but yeah. somebody came in and they were like, does the president live here? And they're like, no. <laughs> like, why would he live here? All right, how do we enter that church? Where's mom at too? I don't fucking know. Mom just gone, she just where? gone. Can, baby. Everybody's kind of waiting. So we just got a chance to see the nice big El Salvador sign and now we're going to be going inside of the cathedral. I'm just assuming by the sign that I see in the front that I'm not going to be able to record when we get in there. If we can, I will. If we can't, I'll just tell you guys about it when we come out. Boy, come over here. Going to the church. It says no cellular service, no inadequate clothes, no yelling, no eating, no animals, no sleeping, no utilizing something, no selling. <laughs> <laughs> One week. So it's a bunch of stuff that they have that's going on down here, guys, in the El Centro area, I guess I could say, or in downtown. It is like an old town. What's really nice too is, is that we're able to see this building that they're building and it's China and El Salvador partnering up, which I think is a big sign, especially with everything that's going on in the news right now with China and people starting to not trade with the US dollar. I don't know if you guys have seen that in the news. So for China to be partnering, partnering up with El Salvador to build a library, it's gonna be a big library, y'all. It's probably gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different levels. And I'm assuming the top might be accessible to open air. Um, and then you got this other building. This one kind of reminds me of what uh, the White House looks like without the big lawn that's in the front of the White House. So again, like I said, y'all, y'all need to make sure y'all come down here to El Salvador because they are really, really building it up. The big main reason why we're down here today is is because Babe is going to be trying to get dual citizenship. Because as y'all know, I told her that we not getting married unless I get dual citizenship. That's on the table for us. Yeah, well, you need to start recording for Birth Story Channel so we have money to get married. What? So you got to start rec recording for our channel too, not just yours. Why do you want to get dual citizenship? You never thought about getting it before me, by the way. Well, no, I didn't. So I can say it thanks to me? No. That should be like a wah, wah, wah. No, it's just... 
back then I didn't think of it because I didn't enjoy El Salvador that much. It wasn't. But you didn't enjoy El Salvador till me. Well, I enjoyed it before you, and that's why I brought you along. <laughs> I said, hey, I think you're gonna like it. If I didn't think you were gonna like it, I wouldn't have brought you. Okay. Well, let's let's go inside. I wonder if, they, if we could go in there. Well, so, in to the, the White House the or the the yeah, the National the Palace. Palace. The National Palace. We'll have to see, baby. Come on, let's go. In the church we go. You know, this will be my first time in a church with you, babe. I've never been in a church with you before. Yeah, well, when yeah. we have kids, we'll go Sunday church. Oh yeah. Okay, we just walked out of that uh, church that you see behind us. We were in there for like 10 minutes. Um, they were actually in the middle of mass. At the end of mass. I think I think it's I think it's still half because they went like off to the sides of the church to like some other chairs, some other benches. No. no, I did not. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to be disrespectful. Oh, she said she did? Oh, wow. I didn't want to I, I, I say forgive me, I didn't want to be disrespectful She said forgive me, forgive me, but I got to show the family. Oh, my God, man. It was a quick time. I wanted to walk to the front. Yeah, at the front. I know the thing. <laughs> but anyways. At the top. So yeah, we were in there and it was a very nice church. Jeez, I'm getting burnt out here. But it was a very nice church. Um, we are still gonna go visit one. It's just closed during lunchtime right now. So we are actually gonna go eat. And then we're gonna walk around the town and see what else we find. But it's always cool to just go in and see like the architecture, especially the churches, because like the way that they decorate them and take their time, like with everything in the churches is very beautiful. You guys always say when we go to foreign countries, never try the American food, but we're going to Burger King, guys. <laughs> this is where we're going right now. We're going to Burger King. Mom, I don't know why. Burger King, Burger King. Regular fries, guys. We got number eight with cheese. Curly fries. This one's yours, baby. Yeah, I'm in the Versus this one has it. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. So now we're in the San Salvador swap meet. No, you're fine. San Salvador swap meet. They got all kind of regular clothes and shoes. They even had some of the bad bunnies, the, the baby blue bad bunnies, but they were trying to charge Bay like $90 for them. I was like, if we're gonna do those, she gotta come down to like 60 or even 70. Ain't nobody got like the Travis Scotts or something? Yeah, I haven't seen anybody else with the bad money ones either. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> you just not <laughs> the lady. Oh, we don't want a jersey too though, baby. A jersey? Yeah, that one looks really good. Mr. Carter. That one looks good. The jersey, right? Yeah, that one is nice. ¿Cuánto cuesta para este? Doce. Para ti? Se lo muestro. Um, what size do they have, baby? What size are these? Raya. Raya. Don't tell people my size like that. 
They only have extra large. You want to see if it. No. Oh, no. Oh, and t shirt? No, yeah. I don't want it in a t shirt. No, jersey. Jersey, yeah. Gracias. There go your banda. You, you want another banda, baby? <laughs> For her? <laughs> I did say I've been wanting a neighbor. <laughs> Cinco cero tres. You guys looking for shirts? I want the set. Oh, the top and the bottom? Yeah. The set? Yeah. She said, don't say it, baby. I was like, oh yeah, I'm about to get that. You gonna take that and you gonna work out in it. That one looks better, huh? I wanted it in blue, but that one. They don't have blue. They have this style and the other one. I think the other one's cute. The black one? Yeah, I think the black one's cute. I still like that one though. But me, it's because I don't, I don't really like when there's a lot going on. Me personally. But también black is a cual, cuatro black. You know, I'm gonna see if she got it in the extra. That's what I said. I was like, check it out and see if it actually Because it, your arms are what makes you the 2X. Yeah. You know, but if it your arms are out, then. Yeah. The arm makes it 2X? Mm -hmm. My, My stomach arms. makes it 2X. <laughs> <laughs> I did get that. I did get that. <laughs> see the difference? And even my shoulders is my stomach. Twelve dollars. That's it. They get you for like thirty, forty dollars for that. Didn't, and you also wanted a shirt like that too. No, I did not. Yeah, you did. No, I, didn't. I would, I would, I would get one of these for you. Was is this like wedding attire? Is this what they used to? No, but they don't stretch here. No, they don't. Yeah, that ain't. So guys, I found this pretty good jersey. She said it's only twelve. Yeah, we can. But, but we I, I will see. Large. Yeah, I'll see the extra large at least. This one's kind of cool, like the, that one right there. What this one? No, yeah. Yeah. I wear that to the gym. Everybody gonna be like, right? Be like my wife is. I'm just waiting to get my papers. Well, you better hope I get my papers today. Yeah, I'm just waiting to get my papers. I just need my Salvadorian papers. Mi papeles. Well, let's keep looking because the lady's super busy with our family right now with her stuff. So let's see what other stuff they might have. He's looking for something for Ceci. Oh yeah? <laughs> but what does she like? Can we go? I can tell. What, the Vegeta? Yeah. Uh, she's just separate or something. I was telling her maybe like a mug. She likes her coffee. You could do that. Something for the something from the fridge for the fridge maybe a magnet a shirt I mean what I, I would say a mug would be your best bet. Next row. Who's gonna buy those bad bunny shoes, baby? If she leaves them for like six, but I don't know, cause like the back of it kind of look like a really thick. I don't know if that's like. If you gotta look at the. Picture. I've never seen them like. I've never seen them in person, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. You gotta look at the pictures. Bad bunny. 
the pictures will tell you. All right, guys. So unfortunately, Salvadoranos are poquito people. They're smaller people. And that jersey is just is not going to fit me. Just ain't gonna fit me. There's no more stairs, so it's good. We gotta take the elevator. So they only had an extra large. I at least need a 2X. Especially after I wash it and dry it. You know how when you wash and dry any and everything, it normally shrinks a little bit. And I'm just afraid that if it shrinks, even like just a little bit, it's gonna be too tight. Really wanted to have one to kind of like work out in. Sit in all my gente from El Salvador, see me working out in it. They're gonna be like, why this black dude got on a Salvadorian jersey? That would have definitely been a conversation starter. <laughs> and they said they got a restaurant at the top. I didn't know it was five floors, but it's five floors. So we are still exploring the swap meet. All right, this elevation is really getting to me now. Are they up here already? Yeah, they're over there. Oh, getting they're some ice cream. Let's walk around. Yep. Oh, wow, they even got like a night seating area up here. They got gastro meal. Gastro meal is like, like bar. <laughs> Look, they got little Caesars. El Parca. Or no, I said El La, La Parca. Panda Express. There's Chipotle. That's Chipotle right there. Yeah, let's go look at the view. That's the volcano, is it? El Paquero. Is it El Paqueron? El Paqueron. Make sure I say it right. Is that the volcano? I think that is the volcano. We are at, apparently it's a new mercado that they built here in San Salvador. I don't know exactly where we are in San Salvador though, but it's like, I guess they call it the historical center. Um, and you can kind of tell like the buildings are pretty old here but they're in it like little by little they're trying to like restore it or just i guess modernize it so where we're at right now we i would say it's like a swap meet but um they call it a mercado the first two floors is like the swap meet then the third and the fourth floor is a parking lot and the fifth floor is like a cafeteria area, like a food, you know, like a mall, at a mall, you know? Um, so it's nice and cool because then it's like open and you can, like the breeze comes in and you can see the view right now. Um, if you go, if you look that way, if you look that way, you could kind of see the volcano. Do you see the volcano? Like the silhouette? Like the, oh yeah. That's the volcano right there. That's but the one you guys walked up? No. <laughs> that one's right out, right on the outside. No, the one the we walked room. up is taller than this one, isn't it? Yes, it is. The one we walked up is taller than that. Yeah. One. But it's dope. Like when we stayed the last time. Yeah. Oh, our, that's the view. That was the view. Oh, but closer to it. Closer yeah, to it. Really close to it. Like it was pretty much like maybe four or five like blocks, you and then see you can see it. There's no lights up there at nighttime, so like the nighttime view is just the city lights, but during the daytime, it was that, and I was like, yeah, that's, that's amazing. That was amazing. And we picked that spot specifically for that, for the view, yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. We are at their local 
Ice cream shot. I'm gonna get a banana split. It's called, oh, the shop, the ice cream shop is called something. It's not local, they, it's actually like, I guess it's a franchise, because you'll see it all over San Salvador. But, um, I guess it's a Who's Who's this? A mí me da una banana split. My wallet? Three dollars. That's their menu and some stuff that they have. I'm gonna get the banana split and we're gonna, me and babe are gonna share. They have a, a brownie with ice cream. <coughs> oh my god. Baby, what flavors do you want? A banana split. We got um, cookies and cream. We got strawberry and chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Cookies and cream, chocolate, and um, strawberry. strawberry okay. With whipped cream, nuts, some wafers. Is it good, Andrew? Is it good? <laughs> Is it good? The mangoes want the best, huh? All right, guys, next destination, and the express. So now we are in El General Escalon. We went to the, uh, the government building in order to help Claire with getting her citizenship. So we did all of that information. Now we have to wait to see if it's gonna be able to go through tomorrow because they have her dad's birth certificate but the birth certificate is very old and with it being very old gracias with it being very old um we're not sure if they're going to even allow her to uh, if they're going to submit it they're going to allow her to submit it so we have to wait till tomorrow hopefully we can get that call that she's going to accept it have you seen what they got yeah so we're gonna see if they have everything um, that she's needed in order for her to get her her um, information. Do you want don't, don't, I want two plates and I want a side, baby. Wait, you want two plates? Yeah. Uh, the, um, yo puedo tener uh, un plato grande y una plato. Sí. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. All right, guys, so we just got finished eating, or at least I'm done eating. Baby's still eating. So, I'm done, baby, I'm done. So, like we were talking about when we had first came in, she's gonna be getting her dual citizenship within the next, probably like one to two days. So we were able to fill out all of the paperwork. Surprisingly, it's gonna be free. But I can understand why it'll be free because her mom and her dad are both Salvadorian rather than if it was like one parent and the other one wasn't or maybe it was neither and you were basically uh, natural naturalizing yourself to El Salvador. So we might have to come up here tomorrow in order to finish with the process 
coming back down to San Salvador, that's at least an hour and a half, two hour drive for us. We've already been here for about like 10 hours already. Obviously y'all seen us going all over the place. I think we went to like the historical center or the historical zone rather than like downtown uh, San Salvador. We spent several hours there walking around. We even got to check out the swap meet, which is what we would call it back at home. It was like five stories, two of the stories were parking. So today's been a pretty good day and we did a lot of driving around San Salvador that we have not done compared to the last time we came down here. Last time we pretty much knew where we were at because we were just in that area so much. But this time <clears throat> we were all around San Salvador. So we were able to really see the newer and remodeling areas of San Salvador as well as the older historical areas of El Salvador. The rest of the family is pretty much just about getting done eating. After they get done eating, we're gonna have another hour and a half, two hour drive back to La Barra. We got a bunch of other stuff that we're gonna be doing in the coming weeks. We got Aguas Termales that we're gonna be doing. We got Sunset Park. We have um, Lago de Cuatepeque. El Taco, El Tun, excuse me, El Tun, El Tunco. Shoot, I can't even speak right now. So we got a bunch of other different stuff that we're gonna be doing in the coming weeks, in the coming days, that are gonna be really fun for us. And you guys will all be able to see those on the channel. So make sure you guys check down below in the description so that you guys can see all of this different content that we are bringing you guys. And you guys can just watch the whole El Salvador playlist so you can see all of our like 20, 30 videos that we have done. If you're still watching this video right now, I want you to hashtag San Salvador down in the description. Hashtag San Salvador if you guys are still watching this video. And the next time you guys probably see me, we will be back at home. Because again, we got two hours that we gotta go. So, shades on. It is time to go. Well guys, good night. Finally made it back home. We spent a considerable amount of time outside, kind of having like a feast with the family. This light is super bright, so it's kind of hard to even look directly at the camera. But, um, you know, it was a good time tonight. It was a good time today at San Salvador with the family. Everybody had a great time going to San Salvador, you know, being able to walk down in the, you know, like old town or historical area and seeing the new things that are being built. That uh, library is gonna be beautiful. That library is gonna be really nice once it's completed. I wonder if it's gonna get done this year, or like early next year. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna be going to Lago de Guatepeque, which is probably one of El Salvador's biggest lakes. And it's even kind of cool because they have like an island in the middle of the lake too. So we'll be able to check that out. We'll be able to show you guys that as well. So we've got about a whole week left here in El Salvador. So we're gonna be doing some different things every single day while we are down here. I'm trying to see if we can go to Guatemala I think that'd be pretty cool if we go to Guatemala for like a day but I don't know how to hold like paying the visa in order to go across and then if we would even have to pay it again to come back I'm not necessarily sure about that but if we go to Guatemala you guys will see that video nonetheless no doubt so I think baby sleep we got to be up early in the morning tomorrow morning in order to go to like on the Guatepeque, but it should be another good and fun day. Thanks for watching the videos, guys. It's been your man Royal, Claire E. Royal, Claire Sleep. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.